Welcome to AEHelp.com's IELTS test preparation videos. In this lesson, you will see six different candidates respond to the part two cue card of the speaking interview. The candidates are from Turkey, Thailand, Brazil, Germany, France, and Korea. Their band scores range from seven all the way to nine. Following the interviews, I will explain this difference in band scores. Now watch and learn. Here is a card with some questions. Don't turn that over yet. Here is some note paper and a pencil. You will have one minute to look at the questions on the card and you can take notes in the one minute if you wish. Then you will have two minutes to speak. I will tell you when to start and when to stop. Are you ready to begin? Yes. Okay. Go ahead, turn over the card. Your one minute preparation time begins now. Okay, Ezra, your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Okay, uh, one of the most beautiful and famous buildings in Istanbul is the Sultan Ahmed Mosque and also known as the Blue Mosque because of its rich blue colors. It's, the, uh, it's located in the heart of the city, very close to the sea, and it was built in early 17th century to show the power and advancement of the Ottomans at that time. Um, of course, this religious building is used by uh, used for ceremonies and worship by thousands of Muslims. And due to its um, international acclaim, it is also one of the most popular tourist destinations in Istanbul. Uh, and it is visited by thousands of um, tourists in each year. Um, this massive structure is built with Islamic architecture with Byzantine elements. Uh, it has five main domes and eight secondary domes uh, with great amount of tiles. And um, uh, at the upper side, upper area, there are uh, thousands of uh, tiles with great amount of uh, tulip designs on each. And not to mention, there are uh, hundreds of um, glass windows and when the light passes through this, the illumination of the interior is absolutely breathtaking. Um, uh, the inside of the mosque, there are a lot of chandeliers um, to provide the light and um, I think a person could spend weeks to discover this um, structure to see the new and pleasant details. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Your two minutes is up. Before watching the remaining five candidates give their responses to speaking part two, I want to share with you an amazing opportunity to improve your English quickly and effectively. This opportunity is presented by our partners Lingoda. They have an upcoming event called Sprint, where you can learn English for three months and get a 100% refund as long as you fulfill the requirements. You can learn English every day for one hour, 30 days a month for three months in the Super Sprint event and get a 100% refund, or you can learn 15 classes per month, one hour a day, for three months and get a 50% refund. Over the last two months, I have been learning Spanish with Lingoda and I have truly enjoyed the classes. Every class is with a certified native speaking tutor and no more than four fellow students. My Spanish skills have really come a long way and I can highly recommend Lingoda to my students. This sprint event starts on January 7th, 2020 and goes until April 5th, 2020. You have to sign up for this sprint event no later than December 19th. 
To secure your spot in the next Sprint event starting this January, you have to pay a 49 euro deposit. But wait, Lingoda has given us a discount code to save you 10 euro off the registration fee. You can also find this link in the stream description. The deposit will go against your first month of payment. After you complete the Sprint event, as long as you meet the requirements and attend all of the necessary classes, Lingoda will give you 100% refund for Super Sprint and 50% refund for Sprint. There are no tricks or catch here. Lingoda, just like myself, want you to improve your language quickly. If you're serious about your learning, this is an excellent opportunity for you. Places are limited, so if you're interested, make sure to register early. More than 20,000 people have attended six different marathon events with Lingoda over the past three years, and it has truly transformed the lives of many of these people. They are now more confident and fluent with the English language. You can learn more about this event on Lingoda's website and look at testimonials of past participants. Yes. Okay, then please turn over the card and your one minute preparation time begins now. Okay, Pam, your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Okay. Um... One of the places that I would like to visit the most is Disneyland in California, U.S. As, of course, as many people know, Disneyland is the big playground for kids and adults with bird clubs, entertainment and activities. I think it is one of the most largest amusement parks in the world with all kinds of hotels, restaurants, carnival rides, concerts and much more. I would love to go there with my family for a couple of weeks because I, I'm sure that they would love it and we would have lots of fun. My family has grown up with a lot of movies like from Disney like Little Mermaid or Frozen and it would be wonderful to see these characters come to life. As far as I know, Disneyland has the zero section for the theme park. Most of these are for children to take on the roller coaster rides or meet with characters like Mickey Mouse or play all types of games. There is also some entertainment for adults as well like a concert or dance club. So this place is especially exciting for me to go because I always wanted to go there since I was shy but never got a chance. And I don't want my kids to miss this opportunity, so I plan to. I decided to save my money, and so next year we will have a big, big plan to go there. Okay, and your two minutes is up, so I will stop you there. Uh, so why is Azra and Pim in the band seven range for their performance on these cue cards? Well, they give good answers, but according to the official uh, speaking score descriptors, a band seven makes mistakes in their pronunciation and in their grammar at times where it interferes with coherence. In both of these responses, there are a couple instances where it's a little bit challenging to figure out exactly what the speakers are trying to express. Secondly, for band seven, the pronunciation is mostly clear. However, words are mispronounced at times, making comprehension slightly challenging. In addition, their grammatical range and accuracy is quite good. They use complex and compound grammar, but not always appropriate to what they're expressing. Now, let's watch some Band 8 candidates. Then go ahead and turn over the card and your one minute preparation time begins now.
Your one minute preparation time is up. Uh, please begin speaking. Sure. So, I remember uh, one uh, scary and anxious moment in my life when I had to present my uh, diploma thesis. Not only was I nervous because uh, it was my first time uh, uh, giving a public speech but in front of a, of a crowd, but also because uh, my final grade depending, depending on my performance and there were five professors there uh, to evaluate me. Um, the point of my presentation was uh, uh, modeling uh, molecular structures uh, using uh, quantum methods as I studied uh, chemistry. Um, I remember that uh, my, my hands were trembling and I had uh, butterflies uh, in my stomach. But finally I had uh, no choice uh, but to act. So uh, I took a couple of uh, deep breaths and I uh, started uh, my presentation. I used a projector and some uh, PowerPoint uh, slides um, to explain the uh, calculation uh, results and uh, the practical uh, implications. Um, I remember that uh, in the beginning I somehow hid uh, behind uh, the podium um, uh, but uh, once I, I gained uh, in uh, confidence, uh, I moved towards the uh, center of the, of the stage and I was able to express myself uh, uh, loud and clear. Uh, in the end, I think I did uh, well and uh, this was uh, reflected by the uh, uh, top mark. Um, Today, uh, looking back, I uh, feel positive uh, about uh, this uh, experience because uh, I could uh, overcome the challenge and uh, gain a valuable experience for the rest of my life. Okay, your two minutes is up, so I will stop you there. Okay, then your one minute preparation time begins now. Go ahead and turn over the card. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Leo, your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Okay, so um, the most useful tool that I have in my household is my glue gun. I use it at least once a month to fix an item that has broken. Um, the glue gun, as the name implies, it looks like a little pistol. and has an electric cord in the end and I can plug it into the socket. Um, there are electric now, there are cartridges that I can plug into the end of the gun as well. And it's very easy to use. I just plug it in and then it heats up. And then I can squeeze out the glue by pulling on the trigger. Um, I figured out for me it takes a couple of trials to become good at it, not to make a mess, for example. And also you have to be very careful because um, the top of the gun and also the glue is, is very hot, so it's very easy to burn a finger. Um, speaking of experience, I, I've done it a couple of times. Um, yeah, and, um, it was very handy for me because recently my niece broke her cellophone and she was very upset about it, but I told her not to stress out. And I used my glue gun to adhere the broken parts. And um, when I was done, it looked as good as new. And so my niece, she was thrilled and she was very happy and that made me very happy as well. Um, so not only did the glue gun really help to adhere the broken parts and to restore the item, but also it made me a hero in her eyes and that is something that is very important for me. So that was uh, one okay. of the occasions. I'm going to stop you there, okay. uh, Leo. Your two minutes is up. Uh, please. Paolo and Leon are clearly in the band eight category for their responses to these cue cards. Notice that their pronunciation is clearer. It doesn't just mean that they're pronouncing the words like a native speaker, because they're not. It means that the words are comprehensible. Also, their fluency is slightly better than that of Azra and Fam. In addition, they use a greater range of words 
and use complex sentences more accurately. Nevertheless, there are still some mistakes that drop their score and does not give them the perfect band 9. Now, let's listen to a couple more cue card responses which are those band 9 perfect scores. Okay, then your one minute preparation time begins now. Go ahead and turn over the card. Okay, Alice, your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Okay, um, I remember just last month I had to reschedule my dentist appointment uh, because I had caught a bad cold. Um, I had booked a, a time to see my dentist uh, on a Friday morning for my annual checkup and cleaning about two weeks in advance. Uh, but as the appointment neared, I came down with a terrible cold. Um, the weekend prior, I had gone to the playground with my kids and I didn't dress warm enough for the weather. I remember feeling quite chilly, but decided to bear with the cold as I didn't want to hassle with going back to the apartment. Um, the next day I started to feel lousy, I had, a, I had a headache, my nose was stuffy and within a couple of days it was an all-out flu. Um, so of course there was no way I could go to the dentist in that condition. I called the administrator and moved the appointment forward a week. I didn't feel good about this. Not only because I got so sick, but also because I had a family photo shoot coming up the following Monday and I had wanted to have my teeth cleaned uh, before that. Um, in the future, I suppose the best practice is to check the weather more carefully or simply bring an extra sweater along in case I feel cold. Um, Definitely a lesson learned for the future. Okay, Alice, your two minutes is up. I'll stop you there. Uh, okay, then go ahead, turn over the card, and your one minute preparation time begins now. Go ahead. Okay, Haley, your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Mm, uh, one of the most beautiful people I know is my husband, Jehong. I met him about 10 years ago in university. If I remember correctly, we had calculus class together where we got to know each other well. And uh, we got along very well and began dating. Our relationship blossomed and we married a few years later. He is a tall, handsome man with medium build, dark hair, and inquisitive eyes. However, it is not purely because of his exterior why I regard him as beautiful, but because of uh, his character. He is the kindest person I know. He dedicates much of his time uh, helping the people around him. In fact, he volunteers on the weekends to teach English to children. Also, he is very smart. He has a master's degree in engineering and now works in a high-level position for General Electric. Furthermore, he is uh, very considerate and caring. He has never forgot anniversaries and birthdays and always remembers to do some special activity on such an occasion. On our last anniversary, he surprised me with a trip to Paris, where we visited the Eiffel Tower and ate some really delicious food. What makes him special for me is that he's brave and positive, and he supports me in my ambitions. I am very driven by my career, and he has always understood this and stood by my side.
he's willing to accommodate me, even if that means to moving to another country. And uh, this is in part my reason for taking this test. And he has been with me every step of the way. Okay, your two minutes is up, Haley. So you need to stop there. And I will take back the card with the questions and also the note paper and the pencil. And now we will continue with part three. Notice the slight but clear improvement in Alice's and Haley's use of the English language when compared to Paolo and compared to Leon. A band nine description, according to the official IELTS exam for fluency and coherence, means that they speak fluently with very rare repetition and self-correction. They virtually never hesitate except to think of ideas, but not language. Their lexical resource is broad. This means they have all of the vocabulary they need to express concepts accurately and clearly. Grammatical range and accuracy is virtually perfect. They use compound, complex sentences and idiomatic language just as they need to in order to be themselves and express not just English but their own style of thinking. In addition, their pronunciation is very clear. The listener does not need to focus or pay extra attention to understand the meanings of words. Coherence is never impeded by their pronunciation. This is why it's a band nine. With enough practice, you can get there too. Good luck the next time you sit your IELTS exam. To see many more speaking interviews, over a hundred hours of video lessons, six original practice exams, and a fully interactive course with strategies to get those high band scores, visit and join our premium package at aehelp.com. Also, download our app, Academic IELTS Help, and link it to your premium web account for a truly world-class experience. Begin learning for success today. Subscribe to our channel. Click over here. Watch more videos. Click right here. Or click our IELTS Hero for over 100 hours of complete video lessons and six original practice exams to help you pass IELTS.